So this is a young lady with uh, what apparently uh, looks like alcoholic uh, pancreatitis. And she's got some uh, probably cysts on the scan, pseudo cysts. And she's got slightly elevated uh, uh, alk -fos. So they just wanted to make sure her balance is clean. Madame, restez sur le côté, s'il vous plaît. Sur le côté, comme ça. Mettez votre bras comme ça. Comme ça, là. OK, c'est ça. OK, c'est pas. OK, madame, madame. Juste restez comme ça, là. OK. On va commencer l'examen, là. OK. Vous allez sentir le tube dans la bouche, OK? Respirez bien. Voilà. Continuez de bien respirer. C'est ça, là. OK, excusez-moi. Voilà. Essayez d'avaler juste un petit coup. Ah, OK, merci. She's going to be a little bit difficult to sedate, I think, because of the uh, ETOH. Restez sur le côté comme ça. Ah, OK. So there's her aorta at the bottom. So again, as a general rule, you know, you, you shouldn't be doing radial. I think you should really be doing linear. We're just only do doing this with a radio because our... We ran out of scopes. Uh, we were one scope out for repair, so. So you can see that she's got here in the body a whole mess of, you know, sort of peripancreatic sort of fluid, maybe another cyst over here. Uh, it's kind of hard to actually see any real pancreas. I think there's probably some pancreas here. Looks sort of like chronic pan mixed with some acute pancreatitis. Some microcalcifications probably. Thin PD, though, that looks good. Out to the tail. Okay. So that's nice. Okay, great. Not much else. No signs of portal hypertension, gastric varices, or anything like that. So we're going to go into the bulb. So pussy C. Um, I, you can sometimes see the bile duct from the stomach with the radial scanner. But I must admit, I haven't really perfected that yet because we just don't do the radio oh. that much for pancreatic disease. Oh. Oh. Okay, excuse me, Mama. Oh. There we go, a little bit to the right here. Excuse me, Mama. Little spastic pylorus here. Excuse me, Mama. Dazily. Okay, so once I get into the bulb, I put the balloon up, go a little bit around the corner, then tip up and pull back. There's the. Let's look the man. There's the ducts coming out of the papilla right here. Okay. Then a little bit tip up, torque left, and pull back. There's a nice view of her bile duct. Okay. Okay. I don't think I really see. Any. I don't see a stricture really. We're right down to the papilla. Looks good. So, Madame, so people with chronic pancreatitis, in my experience, never have anything in the gallbladder. Her gallbladder should be up here somewhere. We'll look at it in a sec. Putting out the balloon so it keeps me in the in the in the bulb if, I, if it works. Okay, I think I'm going to end this pretty soon. Okay, we're going to go underneath now. Okay. okay. Tip up here underneath. There we go. So you've got the mesenteric vessels. Aorta is going to be on this side. Madame, c'est presque fini là. Wow. Yeah, I think I kind of slipped out here. Okay, madame, mettez votre menton à gauche comme ça, là. Comme ça, là. Okay, there. So we are in D2 here. Tip max up. Got a lot of inflammation around here, around the incident here. Coming back, coming back. So I'm trying to get the view of the ducts coming out of the papilla. Should be, there they are, right there. Coming out of the papilla right, right here. Okay, just to make sure there's no stones right at the papilla, there aren't. That looks good. And she really has chronic pain. And then her, her gallbladder, I'm not going to worry too much about it because I'm sure it's normal. And I'm sure they saw it in the regular ultrasound as well. And she's a little uncomfortable, so I think we're going to stop here. So basically, chronic pan, collections, and a, a nice bile duct, and that's it. Okay, see if you need that.